All right, let's start by getting familiar with your boat. We're first going to start off by learning how to get into and out of your boat. For any craft, it's best to enter and exit from a predetermined launch area, such as a dock, boat ramp, or beach. All of these methods are easiest when you have help from a fellow paddler. Similar to a canoe, a raft is mostly powered by the crew sitting along the sides of the raft and is steered by a captain at the back of the boat, sitting on one side or the other. Plan to elect the captain before you launch. It's best to have a good communicator who can facilitate teamwork. While moving downstream, the captain will look ahead and plan a route. The best routes for rafts are typically in the deeper currents. The captain can steer the boat by using the same rudder and sweep strokes used by a paddler in the back of a canoe. With the paddle pointing towards the back of the raft, the captain can pull the paddle in towards the boat or push away to steer one way or the other. The rest of the crew provides momentum by paddling forward or backward at the request of the captain. The captain can have one side of the boat paddle forward to help steer or do a spin. The crew can further help by paddling forward on one side and backward on the other. It is important that all crew members keep their hands on their T-grip at all times to reduce the potential of injury or harm to others in the boat. If someone falls out of the raft, stay calm and alert the captain and the rest of the crew. Often, they are still near the boat when they surface. The easiest way to retrieve them is by extending the T-grip end of a paddle out to them or grabbing a hold of their T-grip. Once the swimmer is next to the boat, it is easiest to pull them in by grabbing the shoulder straps of their life jacket, then using body weight to lean back and pull them in the boat. 